What's up, everybody? Welcome to this week's Frame Your Best Shot, where we're going to announce the winner of this week's photo contest, and we've got a very special guest with us today. Shannon, what's up? Hello. Shannon Sewell, everyone. The lovely, creative Shannon Sewell. We're so excited to have you a part of this season somehow. We loved having you a part of uh, season one, so we had to grab you and get you on somehow. So welcome. Thank you, I'm glad I'm here. <laughs> so you are actually gonna run and do a workshop today. So we've got a, lim a limited amount of time. So where are you headed today? Um, up to Tacoma, which is Seattle area. Yeah. Yeah, um, luckily that close to home. <laughs> is that close to home? Yeah, it's like a two hour drive, so. Yeah. Yeah, I'm done with airplanes. <laughs> oh, I bet. Oh my gosh. Well, you've been everywhere this, I mean, this year. Where have you been with all your workshops and everything? Oh, God. Literally everywhere, coast to coast. Um, yeah, New York, Philly, Virginia. I've been hit California, um, Minneapolis, Texas. I don't know. I'm sorry if I forgot anyone. I've been everywhere. <laughs> awesome. Well, you yeah. know what? Before we jumped on, I just. I was just looking at your blog and I am just amazed at your creativity and I'm on your blog right now. Um, your latest post, your, your, yeah. everything from your clothing to the backdrops is just unreal, Shannon. I, I just praise you. You are so stinking good. Uh, oh this, this photo shoot with, it looks like a Zozobug baby and yeah. Yeah, it was just so just Zozo and me. <laughs> oh, oh, just Zozo and you, yeah. yeah. So what was the point of this shoot? Was just your own creativity? Was this for a client? Yeah. Is this commercial? This was just for me. I had, a couple months ago, watched the Frida movie um, with Selma Hayek. Yeah. And I always have loved her work, Frida's. And I was watching the movies late at night, at night, of course. And all of a sudden, my head starts, like, you know, turning and spinning. And so I text Julia. I'm like, we have to do a Frida shoot. <laughs> yeah. And next thing you know, she's done up the clothes and we're good to go. So yeah, I'm really blessed. I have such amazing creative people in my life that I can do that. Text someone at midnight. <laughs> yeah, oh for sure. But what's funny about you is that at the beginning I'm saying, Shannon, you're amazing, you're all. It's not even that hard. That's why you're amazing, Shannon. It is because this is hard and it just comes so easily to you. So and then this next post on August twenty second, stargazing. Is this yeah. this is your little girl that we had the pleasure of hanging out with in season one, right? It is. She's becoming quite famous. <laughs> <laughs> She's gorgeous. And what was the, was this a commercial shoot as well? Yeah, this was just, um, this was for La Petite Magazine, um, oh, wow. which I, yeah, so this was my second feature with them, and um, yeah, I'm doing a whole bunch of, I just looked at my calendar, I have four magazine shoots next month. I was like, what the heck happened to my life? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's exciting. <laughs> Who told someone that I was good enough to do that? <laughs> uh, the world did. So, Sorry, you can't hide your talent, sister. But yeah, so it was really fun. They give me, it's a little bit different because they give me the concept, and then I have to figure out a way to make it work. So um, oh, wow. it's fun, though. I like having that extra little challenge thrown in there. <laughs> well, you're amazing. We're just scrolling through it right now. Awesome stuff. I am just in love with it. And obviously the world is too. So um, anything else that, you're, that you've are that you got going on? Any projects you want to talk about? Any workshops coming up? Um, yeah. Well, yeah, I have New York. I'll be opening that up in about a week. So um, yeah, I'm going to cut down on the workshops, I think. <laughs> really? Too much travel. Yeah. My kids are even, when we, they're just driving to Seattle, they're like, we don't want to go anywhere, mom. <laughs> oh my gosh. And are they, are they starting school here pretty soon? Or what? Yeah. Yeah. They start next week. So and that's another reason we got to cut back. Stay oh, home. for sure. Be responsible. They were almost truants last year, so we have to be. <laughs> <laughs> we have to be responsible this year. But. Well, if people missed last season with season, uh, your episode during season one, you gave such awesome advice of how to juggle you being a mom along with everything that you've got going on. You're not just a family and children photographer anymore. You're a chill, you're a commercial photographer. Um, yeah. So, I mean, you gave such awesome advice of how to juggle everything. Do you have any new amazing advice for how you're juggling motherhood and commercial work and workshops? Um, you know, it's the same thing. I just, um, like I said, I listen to them. You know, they're tired of it, so it's time to cut back. Yeah. <laughs> it was fun for a while, though. They got to see the world, so. Yeah. Yeah. And you get them involved in your shoots, so that's a plus. At least they're involved with your work. Yeah, totally. Cool. Yeah. Well, awesome. Keep it up. 
Um, let's talk about let's talk about this week's photo contest. It was um, it was frame your best shot category urban life. Yeah. And you actually took a look at those, right? Yes. I'm gonna re pull them up right now. Okay. So I have them all in front of me. Okay. Okay. So first of all, what was your overall consensus of all the photos? Did you did you look at all of them and just kind of study them? What did you think? Yeah, you know what? They're really good. I'm always amazed, like I was telling you before, I've, I I don't want to say I've checked myself out of the photography community, but I really don't spend a lot of time looking on other photographers' blogs and stuff for a variety of reasons. Um, like we were talking about, you know, right. that whole <laughs> yeah. find the people that are like copying and all that. I just don't want to know. <laughs> right. But also I found when I'm doing that, I start like trying to emulate everyone that I'm seeing because I'll see cool stuff. And yeah. of course you want to do the cool stuff. Um, and so I found for me what was best was to kind of not surround myself all in photography, but find other places to get inspiration. And that's what's allowed me to like forge my own path and I feel like create more of my own style. Right. So it's funny though, because when I do something like this then, and I see all these amazing photographs, I'm like, dang, what am I missing out on? <laughs> well, yeah, no, they were great submissions. I don't know if you guys like go through and call them and just show the best, but no, really good submissions. Well, was, what, we, what we do, just so you know, they all submitted, and the ones that have the top votes are now in the finalists. So you, now you're looking at the ones with the top voted uh, okay. votes. Okay, right. so, yeah, no, they're all really good, so it was hard to um, pick. Okay, okay, but this is cool because you, you have very, you're kind of an urban, children, modern, so this kind of correlates with your style a little bit. Yeah, and it's funny because none of the pictures I chose are even close to children like. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. Well, let's check them out here. First, let's go with your, let's go with your top three. Who did you choose for third place? Okay, so for third, I chose. Um, I think they refer to it as World's Best Book. Uh -huh. It was the man sitting amongst all the books. Um, it looks like it's in Mumbai. Is that? Does yeah. That, is that what it says? It oh, says yeah, Flora, yeah. Flora um, Fountain, Mumbai. Yeah. The colors I just thought were great, and it did feel very urban like when you're walking through New York that's what you see is the street vendors you know right. just kind of trying to live their own life while you yeah. <laughs> bug them to buy something from them so right. um, yeah I thought that felt totally urban and like I said the colors I love the colors awesome I'm a, I'm a color girl so. yes you are you are a color girl <laughs> cool what did you think for second place for second I chose um it looks like it's in San Francisco. I can't read the whole name, but it's the whole group of people up the escalator and the one up the staircase. Okay. Um, that one, I just loved the use of the black and white, how it faded from that dark up to light. It just draws your eyes up the escalator, the way right. they, they shot it. And it feels very, um, I know it says San Francisco, it feels very New York to me. Yes. That kind of, um, so many people, but it's that lonely feel. Right. I thought that they, captured that so well so I really like that one. What's interesting about this photo to me hundreds of people utilizing the escalator and one person using the stairs. I know. I mean it's, it has a hidden message in it you see the lines it's it's a 35 millimeter camera so obviously you know you use this 35 millimeter. That one spoke to me too I'm really glad that you like that one as well. Yeah I really like it. It just felt completely it's like how I feel when I'm in New York. <laughs> yeah that's right. I really liked it yeah. And first place Number this one, so okay, there's no name for this one, but it's the five guys that total look, totally look like kickback late 80s, early 90s. <laughs> <laughs> Why does this one just crack me up? When it, when I think of urban, this is what I see. Oh, totally. sure. so this is the one that like when I was going through them all, if I passed that on the street, I would definitely kick myself if I didn't stop and try to take the picture. <laughs> totally. Oh my gosh. No, I love that. I, it, uh, for me, I can't tell if it's taken in 1980s or if it's taken two days ago. Yeah, no, I completely love it. And it's completely, like you said, it's nostalgic. Like, right. boys to men, all that. <laughs> Were you a boys to men fan? Because I was. You don't have to admit it, but I was. Whatever. <laughs> I totally maybe was. <laughs> <laughs> well, cool, yeah. Shannon. Congratulations to all, all of you guys. Amazing photos. Um, obviously the top three, congratulations, but this particular photo, um, we've got your name here on the screen. Make sure you send us an email to info at frameshow.com and uh, we want to do a big blog post about you. We want to show the world your photos, your story, your photography world, so 
Congratulations. So this week, Shannon, let's talk for a sec. Hi. We've got, we've got another photo contest, and we actually hear, we have a DVD here from Chris Orwig. He does a lot of stuff with Lynda.com, and it's a it's a um, a DVD that helps people with compositing. Um, so it's a lot of Photoshop help, and Chris Orwig is just amazing with his uh, with his. Photoshop skills and he's an amazing teacher so that's what the giveaway is for this week but we don't have a we don't have a, a title or a theme so we wanted to come to you to kind of get some ideas and some help of what you think this week what do you want to see for this week's photo contest okay so I was thinking about it there's a couple of art photographers I've come upon lately that um, I just find their work totally fun totally inspiring one of is out of Australia you can't be serious and there is another, it was actually a girl I met at my workshop down in Santa Cruz um, named Gail. And they just have this quirky, silly, it's just fun. Right. They capture the fun in all their pictures. And so I would love to see people submit. It doesn't necessarily have to be kids, but of course that's my passion. So sure. it would be really fun to see silly, fun, just capturing kids being kids. You know, when they come out in their crazy clothes or they come out, you know, the things that they put together, um, right. I just I just love that. So. Kids being real, kids being fun, kids being kids. Yeah, but okay. you know what, I guess that a lot of us adults have a lot of kid in us too, so adults. So, it, so it doesn't have to be just kids, just? <laughs> I, it doesn't have to be, but. Okay, so let's, <laughs> what, what can we call that? So frame your best shot, category fun? Yes. Fun? Yes. yes. The, is that kind of captured quirky, yeah. quirky, silly? Okay, awesome, love it. Frame your best shot and your category is fun. Love it, Shannon. Thank you. Yeah. So, well, good luck with your workshop. Good luck with, call oh, everything that you've got going on, all your commercial shoots, your magazines, motherhood. Yeah. Jeez, what are you Thank doing? You. <laughs> Thank you so much. I'm so happy that I got to see you guys. Well, see you guys That's again. That's right. Yeah. I know. If you were here, yeah. I'd give you a big hug and tell your little ones, hey, we really I like will. them a lot. Thank you so much. Cool. Thanks, Shannon. We'll see you soon. Right. Okay, bye. Bye. So there you have it, Frame Your Best Shot, Category Fun. We cannot wait to see what you come up with this week. Good luck, guys.